Hello everyone, this is Paper2381 and for this video I wanted to do a retro video game unboxing of a vintage video game. In this case, if you can follow me, this is called Super Mario Advance 4, which is, which is actually Super Mario Bros. 3 from the original, original NES. Um, at the time, Nintendo was going through a, a weird phase, like most of the time, with the names of their games. So for some reason they decided to call this Super Mario Advance 4. Uh, you can just read up online, just Google it on what each game is actually called. But like I said, this is called Super Mario Advance 4. So uh, let me start off by showing you the front of the packaging. So this is actually a Game Boy Advance game. So you have this little logo right here with the font, which is very cool. Then over here you have a nice little image of, of Super Mario in his Tanuki suit. And of course you have Luigi right there. This game is rated E for everyone. And you can use the link cable for four player actions, which is very cool. And then over here at the bottom, it tells you that it has a bonus level card inside. So in case you don't know what that is, it's kind of like uh, the early 2000s versions of an Amiibo. So you had to buy one of these things, which is called an e-reader. You put it or insert it into your Game Boy and then you get one of the cards. You scan it and you have an extra level, which is very cool. Here is the side. Now I actually bought this game in Canada, so uh, I, I can only assume that this is the same version that they received in the United States as well. Um, current video games in Canada have a little French logo, which is very annoying, but I, I do prefer the American version. So over here it tells you that this game is made in Japan, which is very cool. I pre actually, I prefer games to be made in Japan, which is funny. And here is the back. Uh, you have little screenshots of the game. And in my case, this is, in my opinion actually, this is one of the best versions of Super Mario Brothers 3. So I highly recommend it just because the, the you know, the, the graphics that they made, they're a little bit better than the original. The updated, sorry, yeah, the, the graphics that they updated. Um, you also have a second game in this uh, version of Super Mario. Advance 4 and it comes with the original version of Mario Brothers um, So that's pretty cool So that's the back. So now let's open up this game And very careful of course because this is now vintage which is funny Yeah Very very careful Okay, so I took everything out. It's just an empty box right there here is the game. So it comes with this little white piece right here, this little insert, just protector. Show you the game. So uh, an official uh, Game Boy Advance game has a little number right here, which is part of the sticker, just like an indent. And then the little sticker label. And on the back, you have this. And let's look at the rest of the inserts. You have the manual, which I really miss from current video games. You don't get this anymore, and it really sucks. It, it angers me. Um, so here is how you could use the link cable to have four players, which is very cool. And of course, the classic Game Boy Advance console or handheld. Um, if you had, let's see, a Game Boy Advance uh, player or adapter, you could use it on your GameCube. So you can play this game on your television, which is very cool. Options. I actually like looking at the manuals for some reason. It's my favorite part. Now this image is actually, I think it's more from the Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers 3. So I love this little image right there. And you have all the Koopa kids right there. Ooh, a nice little orange Game Boy Advance. And I'll just go real quick. Oh, I just love this. This is my favorite part of these old video games that they come with these manuals. And then over here, as you can see, it comes with their original Super Mario Brothers and with different options. And that's the back. 
I love the yellow as well. I don't know. It's like everything about these old games is beautiful. Here's one insert for the Game Boy Player so you can play on your television with the ga uh, GameCube. It'd be funny, you know, how many people, to find out how many people actually passed up on buying this and now how expensive it is. It, it is. And then over here, which is very sad, you can have a subscription to Nintendo Power. It's sad because, of course, it's no longer available anymore. It went out of print. And, of course, the, uh, ba -ba -ba, the precautions uh, booklet. And not that it really matters, but if you're a collector, it says DMG-USA-11. And of course, one of the most important parts, the uh, level card. Now, let's see, it's, uh, it's actually two cards. One is a bonus level card, and one is a power up card included, which is included. <laughs> so it's actually two cards, so you just, like I said, you put the, you put this in the back of your uh, Game Boy and you just scan it. And it's very much like an Amiibo. So it's the 2000 versions of the Amiibo. And you have the little uh, code right there, I guess. And because I am a collector, I won't be opening up this card. But I will say that you can find them online, but they're very expensive for some reason. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you want to see pictures of this, of whatever's inside of this package of this game, just follow the links to my blog and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.